Okay, back for another Steak and Cheese review. This time from the legendary B&J's Carryout in Akakeek, Maryland. This place is an institution. I know it's been here at least 50 years. Uh, I'm 60. I came here as a kid with my parents. Um, so if any of y'all know exactly how long this place has been around, you could put it in the comments. I, I would like to know exactly how long it's been. I know it's been at least 50 years. Um, so nostalgia like crazy. Uh, it is a Southern Maryland, uh, even DC suburb, you know, Akakeek. We're not that far from, from the district. Uh, it, it's just, it's awesome place. Oh, they've been around. Nothing's changed. Um, I, of course, I came for the steak and cheese, but while I was here, I had to get their famous onion rings because it just wouldn't be <laughs> it wouldn't be B and J's without the onion rings. I got to get one right now. Oh man! I don't know if you can see it. I'm getting a lot of glare from the sun. I don't know if you can. There's, there it is. Did you see it there for a second? The grease stained bag. Let me see if I can. There. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I can just eat the onion rings. Oh, man. This place rocks. Look at that. Ah. All right. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is so good. But for the main event, so I'm going to try to be, um, I'm going to try to be unbiased because nostalgia is strong here. The nostalgia is strong with this one. So that could influence my, my grade. But here we go. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. It's hard to say. It's, it's like it's just washing everything out. That'd be great. I, I don't edit, so you're going to get all this mess. Anyway. I mean, that did nothing. Okay. All right. Anyway, so here's the, here's the sandwich. Opening it up with the paper here. Um, wrapped in paper. Wrapped in paper twice. No foil on this baby. Oh, look at that grease. Okay. All right, so let's see. I got provolone this time. And you know me, I always get lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, of course, grilled onions. That's the steak hanging off um, quite a bit of steak. I've had a couple others that was more, but this was plenty. They're not stingy with it. So anyway, it's very soft bun, even uh, with the grease and the steam. Could even say it might get a little soggy, but some people like it that way. Smells delicious. All right, here we go. I'm going in. I want to be objective. I might have to get another bite. So for me, this is where I learned as a kid what a steak and cheese was. This place and C&D, which no longer exists. Look at that cheese. That's the provolone, baby. I got to get, I guess I'm going to say a minus 
And I could even say B plus if it was somewhere else. But this whole, it's the whole thing. It's the whole coming here. It's the whole like weird lavender building. Um, it's the onion rings. It's the fact that this place hasn't changed in 50 years. And this is an awesome sandwich. It is. You want a steak and cheese at a Maryland steak and cheese? B&J's carry out, baby. That's the place. So anyway, if you've never been here, you got to come here just because <laughs> it's legendary. So uh, I'm just going to say uh, en enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful holiday. I don't know if I'm going to do another. I'll probably get another review in before Christmas. But um, I've, been, I've been having fun doing this. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. There's plenty of places to get, I mean, plenty of places to get a steak and cheese. Um, but, you know, I, it could get boring after a while, right? I mean, it's the same old thing. Troy eating a steak and cheese sandwich. I mean, I don't know how entertaining that is. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, anyway, I love all you guys. God bless you. And uh, have a very safe and happy holiday season. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.